Hello everyone and welcome. In our last video, we did a simple walkthrough of the process we used for building this foundation in East Ligon. If you have not seen that video, you can find a link to it in the description. This video is part 2 in the series and we will continue where we left off. We will cover the superstructure for the ground and first floor along with the roof. As always, if you have any questions, you can put it in the comment section below and we'll do our best to answer them. Don't forget to like this video if you find it helpful and also subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. The last video ended when we finished casting our foundation. With the foundation done, the next step is to begin the block work for the superstructure. Our engineers make sure that the block work follows the floor plans precisely. One important thing to look out for when blocking up is to make sure that your walls are straight. Having crooked walls does not only affect the structural integrity of the building, but would also cost you more when it's time to render or plaster. While block work is ongoing, steel binders are also finishing up the steel work for the columns. Block work is a fairly quick process and for this particular floor, we finished the block work within a week. Because it is a quick process, supervisors need to pay close attention to the work to ensure that the walls are straight and the angles are correct. Once steel work is completed, form work and casting continues for the columns. After casting of the pillars is done, the next thing is to prepare the form work for the lintels. Mind you, we will be going up another floor. With the formwork completed, steel work continues. For the first floor, we will use the pre-stressed beams again, so we have to create the hooks for it. The front part of the building is cantilevered and we will not be using the beams. So we need to do the reinforcements before casting can happen. The beams are ready to go in now. If you watch the foundation video, you will easily recognize the process with the beams. The only difference is, this time, the process is for the first floor. In the video of the foundation, some of you asked if this method could be used for multiple floors. And the answer to that is yes. Another group also asked if we would have used the same method for the foundation if we were doing multiple floors. And the answer to that is also a yes. If we wanted to build a larger building with this same method, we only have to adjust the engineering accordingly.
this is what the floor looks like once all the beams and blocks have been installed. After the beams and blocks have been installed, our structural engineers inspect them to be sure that they are structurally sound before casting can take place. With installation done, we are ready to cast the first floor. Because we will be casting on the first floor, we need to set up a pulley system that will help us transport the concrete from the ground to the top quickly. First floor casting is now ongoing. As with the foundation, we are also casting concrete with a thickness of 2 inches. Now that casting is done, this is what the first floor looks like. At this stage, you can see a glimpse of what the structure would look like when completed. You can now see that the steel and foam work for some of the columns are done. Casting has even taken place for some of the columns. Block work has now started on the first floor. For the ground floor, we use solid blocks, but at this level, we resorted to using hollow blocks. It is not advisable to use solid blocks when going up. Buildings tend to be heavier at the base and lighter towards the top. As I stated earlier, Block work tends to be a, a quick process. You can see the formwork ongoing for the lintels and the parapet. As you can see, the reinforcement has already begun at the back with the steel benders working towards the front. The formwork for the concrete roof and parapet is now done. The next step is to install the reinforcement.
you can see the steel work ongoing for the concrete roof. We are now in the process of casting the concrete roof. You can see a similar pulley system to what we used for the casting of the first floor. The concrete roof is done and you can also see the parapet wall. You may not see it but the concrete roof is sloped towards the front of the building. This is to make sure that the rain water slopes off instead of sitting on the roof. We are now installing the roof members. These roof members are the frame on which we will install our roofing sheets. It is important that these are done well. The last thing you want is your roof flying off once a strong wind blows. With all the roof members now installed, it's time to fix our roof. We had two main options, aluminium and alu-zinc, but we chose to use aluminium instead.
this is what the finished roof looks like now. Unlike the concrete roof, the aluminium roof looks to the back of the building. There are still a few more works to do on this building before it becomes habitable. We will cover them in subsequent videos. With this, we come to the end of today's video. If you found this video helpful, hit the like button. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can put them in the comment section below. If you like the type of content we create, then subscribe to our channel. See you in the next video. Cheers.